Hi everyone, it's Living the Good Life. And for my 400th video, I wanted to show you more of my RS Prussia collection. So let's go ahead and have a look. So in here, I've kind of got a mishmash. I've got a really beautiful old early um, cake plate. Be more of the RS steeple mold. And I've got a chocolate pot. And I think that these cups and saucers match it. So I bought them to go with it. I have a lovely little toothpick. There is hiding here is a, let's see if I can see it better over here. There is a hat pin holder. And then uh, there's a sugar and a creamer that I think are as close to this chocolate pot that I'm going to get. So I'm, I'm, I can't open the front doors. I can only, only open the side doors. So it's a little bit harder to show you. Uh, here in front, this is one of the earliest uh, pieces that I bought, and I actually invested a lot of money in this back in the 90s. This is um, a little you know, like tea for one set with the sugar creamer and the teapot, and it's got this Tiffany green finish on it. With the, it's a satin finish that was just beautiful. And my brother made me these little RS Prussia plaques. Over here, I bought this chocolate pot uh, when my first niece was born in 1995. So I've kind of like, you know, designated some of these for my nieces to say, here's, this is your teapot, this is your chocolate pot, whatever. Um, I've got a uh, sugar bowl back there, but haven't been able to find the creamer. Here's another little toothpick. This is a, um, either grape eaters or melon eaters. I can't tell what he's eating. But this pattern is an expensive pattern. Again, I spent a ton of money on this one sugar bowl back in the 90s. I don't even like to think about it. But anyways, I did. <laughs> then we've got another little chocolate pot that I bought without a lid, and I've kind of married it with that one. Uh, here is one um, cup and saucer that matches the chocolate pot. It's got a oops, but I bought it at a thrift store for just a few dollars, like $1.50. Uh, over here is another similar pattern you can tell it's got these grape leaves kind of thing here on the well this one has it as well but they are more outlined okay so we're going to get go down here okay i may have to get down on my hands and knees because it's harder to to see these down here I can't bend like that anymore okay here we go so i have got this beautiful point and clover bowl with the roses Got a little one over here hiding in the corner. This is the icicle mold water lily pattern. And I have a sugar bowl and a small pot and then a very large tankard here. And then I have a shaving mug and you can tell that it's divided on the top. And I got that the, at the Pasadena Rose Bowl flea market back several years ago. Uh, I have another point and clover plate and a ribbon and jewel. Wait, well, I guess a ribbon and jewel, point and clover, whatever. Uh, back here in the back. This is a pattern I really love. This is roses and snowballs with the blue. So uh, it's taken me this long just to get three pieces. So like almost 30 years. So I have a little relish tray, the large bowl, and a uh, medium sized plate. I have a little mustard pot. This is the ES, props, uh, ES, not RS, but it's as close as I could get to a tea strainer. And then I have one more little toothpick hiding over in the corner. And then down here we have some heavy gold, which is one of my favorites. Uh, it comes in so many different patterns. You can tell this has the little um, flowers here molded onto the edge. This has big flowers on the edge and this one has no flowers it's just heavy gold i've got one little cup and saucer down here i've got the bun tray look how pretty that is and this is a celery dish i've got the large bowl an entire stack of little berry bowls to go with it and this was a um sugar bowl that didn't have its lid. I think I, uh, 
I've used that lid for something else. I can't remember. But just a little idea of everything. I hope you enjoyed seeing it all. Uh, and I will have more because I actually did find something on Friday. So I'll have something to show you. Take care, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.